any kind of internship I would have got where I was at would have been a desk job working for some kind of energy something and I yeah. want to do aviation or racing or something okay. hands-on. I don't, I don't want to sit behind a desk all day. Whoa, who are you? Hey, I'm Hunter Melgren. What are you doing here? I'm here to just learn stuff at Genius Garage. Where'd you come from? Washington State. Whoa, that's a long way. How far? About 2,100 miles. You drove this thing? Yes. What is it? 1993 Mazda Miata. It's pretty cool. How's it tricked out? Uh, it's got this roll bar in the back that I put in. Yeah. Um, got a little Momo steering wheel, extended shifter, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, you got an old school steering wheel in there. Let's check that out. Yeah. Well, what, uh, what are you doing here at Genius Garage? What are you going to build? A uh, BD-5 Microjet. You want to show us? Yeah. Let's, let's go. It. Oh, look at this thing. Here it is. Oh, yeah. All right, so why do you want to build this? Why'd you come here to do this? Just learn any kind of thing I can about this. I mean, I've never had an opportunity to work on an airplane. That's true. That's pretty crazy. Let alone build one this interesting. No kidding. What are you most excited about this particular plane? Oh, I don't, man, I don't know. There's just so many little intricacies of a 1970s kit plane oh for sure i mean and it's a jet too no less no kidding let's see these plans you got here show us what's going on i got currently working on the canopy here okay so it's showing how the, the mechanism works to get the canopy yeah, up yeah look at that interesting here point to some stuff what do you got show us so you got the, the lever arms and these these guys will fold down as the, and the canopy will kind of help slide okay so this dark gray down. here represents the clear canopy right correct the and front and the, the rear yep and this is the top curvature of the airplane yep yeah okay and your pivot points and whatnot yep the mechanism there, there yes gotcha so then these are all the, the written instructions to how to put this together as well as all of the plans to, make, to fabricate the various components. How do you feel have. about all these old school drawings compared to just sitting at a computer? Well, it's way more interesting. Yeah, how come? Yeah. You can feel it with your hands. Yeah? You actually lay, lay your, your parts against the page and... Oh, can you really do that? Feel, you really got an example? It. Well, I mean, I got these, these bows here. These, okay. We're just here before I got here. Yeah. Looks like this guy. Oh, nice. So that's literally your reference mice. point. Yeah, that's really my reference point. And that's for the canopy. So some more canopy stuff going on here. Yep, yep. So the jet. So here's the fuselage, and this is where it started. Pretty now, how much. far how far are you going to take this project in your time here? Um, hopefully till complete complete project done. Make it a nice show plane. Awesome. Just to what are you hoping to accomplish with your time at Genius Garage and for your life? Oh, just really, uh, I mean, learn skills, make connections with other people. Um, what do you go for school for? Mechanical engineering. Yeah, what year are you? I'm, I'm now a senior. Very neat. And um, why'd you travel all this distance to come do something like this? Because uh, any kind of internship I would have got where I was at would have been a desk job working for some kind of energy something. And I yeah. want to do aviation or racing or something okay. hands-on. I don't, I don't want to sit behind a desk all day. What do you hope to do in your future? Here, show us this plane some more. Said aerospace or, or racing. I, I mean, I, racing would be really awesome. But, yeah. But that's kind of a tough one to get into. Um, so yeah, here's this engine compartment here. Sure. Yeah. Um, I, I put some of the tail back together. Awesome. There's some bra internal bracketries and kind of get, getting everything fitted nice. For sure. Nice what do you think of the go. team's work last year with that stop with camel biplane behind you? It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Are you excited to do your own plane now? Oh yeah. How are you gonna paint it up when you're done? What's it gonna look like? Um, we're going to try to paint it up like Chuck Yeager's Bell X-1. Now, what did that airplane do? Why is it famous? Why is it famous? It's the first aircraft to break the sound barrier. What was it fueled by? <sighs> I don't remember. Liquid rockets. Well, I mean liquid rockets, but I don't remember. I was, you thought you were meaning specific. Oh, I just was what powered it. Why don't you show us some of the wings and some of the parts and stuff real quick? Can do that. So here's the vertical stabilizer. Well, let's check that out. Okay. Done up. Very neat. Some, got the rudder there. And Controls. I got some so brackets to get it. You're getting that all ready to put that together here pretty soon. Correct. Okay, what else we got back here? I got some of the fairings. Oh, yes, between the wings and the fuselage, yeah. yes. A couple extra bulkheads. Mm -hmm. One of the wings here. Very cool. Now, this wing, I'm pretty sure BD's. 
had different length and size wings. Correct. What's the deal with that? Uh, they apparently made various variations of the plane, but they were all supposed to be backwards compatible with each other. So if you were able to, you know, bring in a later. So were some wings wing. longer than others? Some wings were longer, some wings were shorter. Do you know shorter. which ones these are? I believe these are the B wings. Okay. I haven't measured them out yet. Fair sure enough. The B's. Fair enough. What else we got around here to show? Looks like the dashboard right here. Yep, got... Mm -hmm. Old dusty sitting Old around dusty. for decades. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Now what do you think about this that was designed in the early 70s compared to modern uh, aircraft and some jet fighters that are still in service? Well, I mean, obviously, a lot of the, some of the jet fighters that are currently still in service are, I mean, were designed in the same era. Yes, that's true. Um, I mean, I'm sure they've received quite a lot of significant updates since <laughs> yeah. then. Yeah, well, the U.S. Um, military this, has a better budget than we do. Yeah, um, and BD aircraft. Well, if you guys check it out, I actually got to take a ride in an F-16 with the Air Force Thunderbirds, and maybe you guys can see some similarities with this cockpit and the construction methods and uh, the flight briefing and whatnot. So yeah. check those out too. So this is going to be your build series, Hunter, and we are excited to follow you building this BD-5. It's going to be really neat. I'm excited to build it. When do you think you're going to have this thing done and looking like an airplane? I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep working hard and try to get it finished as soon as possible. Fantastic. You have anything to say, everybody out there? Well, just want to thank my family at home for supporting me on what I'm doing. You know, this kind of been they've they've sacrificed a little bit to get me here, so I'd like to thank them. That's very nice of you. Well, other than that, hey guys, this is going to be Hunter's build series right here. In the meantime, please like, comment, share your support with him, and subscribe. We're going to have a lot of fun. Later, guys.